Hello everybody! It is Good Click here and welcome to part 4 of the Toontown Copper Clash walkthrough. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. And uh, today we are going to be fighting the High Roller. So, this is a limited time boss battle for April Fools, even though it came out in May. Um, and it's quite insane. As I talked about last episode, it's quite crazy. I think you'll all uh, quite enjoy this boss battle, especially if you haven't played Toontown in years and you're new to this whole thing. It's uh, it's it's a bit mind blowing. So uh, we're not going to waste any time, and we're going to hop right into it now. You might be thinking, "All right, where do we go to fight this boss battle? Uh, where do we go?" You'll notice these guys in each playground. Um, this is a limit time boss battle. This will no longer be accessible in about a month. Um, but, these guys, right here, they are on every playground and all we need to do is talk to them. Oh my gosh, we got someone! We got someone! They, oh, hello Toon, do you like a uh, high kick, high stick? No, oh, it's not kick, I'll do it. Hey to Toon, we're the low baller and you're, we're here to invite you to Mr. High Roller's show. But yeah, it's the greatest, it's, in case you didn't know, and though not eat the high roller. Oh my gosh, right, I've never seen... If that cool, like ever. Listen, we have our new fan club, the Hello Brawler. Yeah, and anyone who join us will get a special rap straight to the show. What are they? You win? Definitely. Oh yeah. Yes, they're in. Yeah, welcome to the Hello Brawler, buddy. The Hello Brawler, buddy. If you ever want to rap, just come up and let me know the time. Alright. Here we go. We just teleport. And here we are inside uh, this area. Now, this area was actually part of the 1.3 update. This is where you fight Dave Fruitbot, uh, who is a boss you'll fight later on in the game. Uh, and they added a little extra tunnel here, or a little extra area, where you can fight this new boss, and it's really neat. I'm also going to be bringing my alt along, as uh, you can see here. Alright, so the whole crew has appeared. Uh, we've got everyone here. So now, we're just going to run straight on in. Let's not waste any time here. Warning, the following instance is not canon. There he is! Cha cha cha, how's the hoop skip out here? Toe taps can't thank you enough for these claps. The dew morning is a dew day, and it's a bit perfect. It takes two to be a dang And here is every single boss in the game, besides like the, the main bosses. <laughs> every like manager in the game is just there, just chilling. A casino card shipper, the roulette rockabilly, the cortec quack attacker, the spraining wheel. It's him! The Duck Ruffler. Applause now. Alright, let me take the home dice. The top for sure, my top, let's play. We're here. Oh, that's no high class bless. Looks like we got some surprise guests. Baby Blue, you knew my words were true. I knew and I told you to meet again. I guess we'll have a special show though, coming week, bam. He did the thing! What's going on? Look at him go! Whoa! Uh-oh. <gasps> Holy shit! Good morning, Toontown! Welcome back to the terrific favorite show. Two of us favorite show. The ducks. What are you waiting for, babe? Hop on and let and get hopping and bopping and jumping. Oh, I take a party participate play of the Yeah. Here's a spinning wheel, I know you can get by. Get ready for the show of a lifetime, Bobby Dazzler. And here we go. Now, we have every single gag in the game. Uh, we need to roll this dice. 
And now we have to use a level 1 gag to start out. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use a Law, and on my other tune, I will use a Froze button. And that should be <laughs> a pretty good start, I think. Yes! So if you've ever played Wizard 101 before, um, this uses a pip system, very much like that game. Except it also has gambling thrown in, and it's very, very fun. And now he's doing his thing. It's like gonna land, it's on shuffle! Okay. So, I'm sure you've played one of these games before, as you'll see in a second. And our left uh, increases every round, too. Okay, so the guy who talks, we need to track him and see which <laughs> one he ends up landing on. He's there, he's there. Okay, it's B, it's B. So now we need to throw a, a gag at the one <laughs> that it uh, went to, of course. And there we go, correct. And if we had hit the wrong one, uh, we would have taken some damage. And now we've got 10 more pips, and our life has gone up by 15. So this boss is intentionally designed so that anyone can play it, no matter their skill level or like point in the game. Because everyone starts out with 15 life and gets to max life by the end of the first phase. So it's very fun. Uh, I would definitely, <coughs> I would definitely recommend just dragging a friend into this who's never played the game before. It's very, very funny getting them reactions. A <coughs> and as we damage those cogs, he starts to take damage himself also. All right. So these are the little dice rolls you see on the right. Um, these will give you a little bonus in exchange for some pips. So uh, one dice will re-roll your your current setup. Uh, two will give your gags perfect accuracy for that round. Five will give you and another two an IOU buff, which will increase the thing on a certain gag. And I'm getting pulled to zap, so I will do that real quick. And uh, there's a lot, there's a lot to memorize with this boss, but it's a lot more simple than it looks. It's a lot more simple than it looks. And now back to our regularly scheduled programming. And also, of course, the animations here um, are insane. Oh, trivia. Okay, we got a bit of trivia. This is the perfect one to play with people who don't know Tomb Time Corporal Clash too well. Oh, I have not seen this question before. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, I'm not too sure on that one. Not too sure on that one. Um, hmm. True? Okay. I don't know about that one, but I feel like that might be... Okay, that's true. Okay. Okay, good. I was like, wait, is that false? Maybe it's like a... But no, we got it down. And we got 10 pips, and our max life increased by 15. Yet again. And these cogs will gradually get stronger over time, which is a bit scary. Oh, and we got a 5, we got a 4, which is really good. I'm gonna use that on my other tune. We also got a uh, 4 on Snagglecorn too, so we're just gonna be very buff this round. <laughs> get out of here. Alright, and there's a conveyancer here too. They're like kind of a rare sight. You don't see conveyancers super often. They're a bit of a bit of an oddity. They're like the, the Bigfoot of the Toontown world. Oh, and we got another four. But I wanna save these pips. I don't wanna go spending them willy-nilly. But be a bit careful there. And got him. Alright, let's see how much lore I uh I understand. Ahead attorney's objection, she changes the tune's damage to the same amount the suit is healed. I don't think that's what it does. I don't, I don't think that's really. I don't think that's what it does. I think it does something else. Aha! Okay, knew it. I haven't done a lawfus in a very long time, so I wasn't entirely sure. <laughs> but I was like, that's not. Well, it, it's similar to what they mentioned, but it's not quite. Alright, now we're getting all the big dudes. Okay, he's also down to 375 HP, so that's pretty good. Oh, I missed! Does Power Trip attack? Oh. Alright, I've done nine of these so far, and I haven't died in a single one, so come on, don't, don't do this to me now. 
Why not doing this during the recording? Really, I could have used a megaphone. Uh, you gotta save those pips whenever necessary. Uh, but the amount of pips you have gets reset during every phase. Uh, so during the first phase, you don't need to worry too much. It's just during phase three where it really becomes a bit of a necessity. Phase two, you can just kind of spam. Um, because that round is so short anyways. He's gonna final snap them. Hello, editor here. There's one minimum that he hasn't shown, and that would be puzzle. You need to defeat all cogs and use at least one of a specific gag in this scenario that is throw. You are given eight pits at the beginning so you can essentially use any gag you need to take the cogs out. Depending on what cog you're on, you could save some pits for using the next cog round. Also, what you're seeing is a content pack. I forgot to take it off before I recorded the footage. Anyway, Snag Wickerman and friends should be done with the first phase. Back to you. And there we go. I think we got him. I don't feel so good. Max laugh. And guys, we maxed that tune already. Four episodes in. That's crazy. Oh, these rings are skyrocketing. Lying. It's a head turner. And the cameras are rolling. Let's see the big player for today! Oh, what's it gonna land on? Uh oh! Well, it's just but a kablue. Hope you folks at home are ready for a real showstopper. With a warm and hot on the oven flap fire, round of applause for my favorite freshness of. <laughs> Bring him in, baby doll. What a what a great introduction to the second phase. Look how hard this goes. Actually, great. Okay. So I think. Uh, okay, let's see what uh, else we can get here. Use your pip costs. Let's get some fifty percent stronger. Do a hypno. There we go. All right. So that's not enough to kill, but we did chip away his health quite a bit there, which is always good. Razzle dazzle. Now I think. If we just drop him again, we'll have to take damage from these guys, but... Wait, 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 okay, we're zapping. And uh, let's see how well this works. They're gonna unlaw anyway, so we might as well get that damage on them. Oh, two damage off, are you kidding me? Oh my lord. Well, that's a bit of a problem. Let's just hope <laughs> that doesn't kill. Okay, then nah, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. Okay, that was too close. A minor miscalculation. Okay, we'll do this. I'll use a banana peel. And I'll do some of this. And yes, that should be good. Got him. Yes, I love $1 bill. If you didn't already know, you know $1 bill is the meta. Uh, in both greening and uh, just being a nuisance. I guess those kind of intertwined, but you get what I'm saying. You know, I always remember, this is just a random ass memory, but I always remember, uh, you know, I went to like a play area as a kid. It was like one of those big soft play areas. And they always used to play Steward Little 2 on like a TV in the corner. Always Steward Little 2, no other movie. I don't know why. But they, the, the people running that place just really love Stuart Little 2, I guess. Here we go. And we did it! That's phase 2 down. And now for the star of the show. It's right, it's right, I can't handle the heat. The jump. The hip hop revive part of the band, me but the hottest star at the stage. Come and let burn a hole into goggles. Oof. Better smile before you burn out. Yeah. Yeah! As Smirky would say. 
I think we're gonna have to take down uh, the guy on the right first. He is like the biggest threat right now. Hello again! I'm here to explain what all the colored cogs do. Each cog on this list has a priority scale which indicates which one should be killed first. Cogs with a priority scale of 1 should be taken out first, and then 2, and so on. Once the cog is taken down, their shield effect will disappear. Pause the video if you want to read the full details of the colors. Once again, back to your snag with her. Okay, you can load those two at least, okay. They're only gonna be load for one round. Oh, we got him. Okay. Well, hey, that's one round. And now he's gonna roll a dice to decide who gets hit and how much damage. And it landed on him, so that's good. If it lands on 6, it'll hit the cogs. If it lands on 5, it'll do nothing. If it lands on 1 to 4, it'll hit uh, a certain tune. <laughs> oh, and he used the tune tannic in that mist. Uh, so yeah, that was the original level 7 gag from original Toon Town. And uh, they brought it back here as a cog attack on you. And it's so funny, it's such a fun idea. Okay, we're going for the trap one next. This works for me, it won't kill, but close enough. Win! Level promoted! Yes! Thank you, green cog. You just promoted my... <laughs> Big loss! No! Oh, I can't believe this. So this guy right here will like mess with your gag, sometimes he'll promote them, sometimes he'll like lower them. And we, we got... We got like both sides there. And that's so... Oh, I can't believe this. Oh, I forgot to mention also we're all 999 left too, <laughs> so that's also a thing. Okay, so we're gonna want to heal. Um, let's see if I can get a unite. There we go. Oh, and I'm at one left. I'm at <laughs> one point. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna pass this around. I guess cause there's not much I can really do. I gotta win. No, not the ducks. Not the ducks! This is just like the, the movie with Nicolas Cage. It's like a remake of that one movie that's actually good. It's. Oh! Quite crazy. Okay, now we can start going ham on this dude. Mm. Yeah, this is fun. Restalling? Your choice, honestly. Yeah, we can do that. Why do elephants say when they bump into each other? Small world, isn't it? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 I seriously just can't imagine, you know, how bad shit and sin this whole boss is and just how much there is to keep up, If especially if you're, like, fairly new to this game. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Watch this, this is not good. Oh! There we go. God damn, that just will not hit. That's the third time now. Now, what we're gonna do is there is a technique you can use here where you can gradually stall and just not use your points or anything, your pips. Uh, and just you, if you manage to like stack the, your pips and everything enough, you can just one shot the high roller. Because usually he will resummon his little laser cogs. Uh, but you can just do that. You can just manage to. <laughs> You can just kill him in one hit if you manage to st uh, if you manage to stack him enough of these. Weak. And now it is just mass stalling time. Like stalling times ten. La, la, la. <laughs> Gotta stack those. Okay, I've heard that joke like a million times. Like, I remember as a kid, I always get like these joke books. Literally every joke book I used to get would always have that one joke. I'm not even kidding, like, that would always be a thing. <laughs> okay, I was a bit concerned, like, did that just kill him? <laughs> that would have kind of threw a wrench in our plans, honestly. It actually would have been a bit bad <laughs> if that had killed him. Um, next turn. Alright, let's see if we can one-shot him. That'll be very cool if we can uh, one-shot this man. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is gonna do, do a lot of damage, and then we'll have another round after this to attack him before he summons his cogs, so 
Let's see if this will work. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that did a lot. That did a lot of damage. Come on, guys, we can do this. We can do this. Getting all that damage on him is like easily the most satisfying thing in this game. Like, oh my lord. Yes! Okay, he did extra damage to himself. <laughs> Got him. Now, if all of these hit, that should kill. <laughs> no! Oh! No! <laughs> Got him. GG's. <laughs> Let's go. Not fat fish for fish for fuck shop. No fish for golden age hit. You know the player of the game, the tune in team, keep show rolling. Let me get the hot shot I've shot fish one last time before the roll headfish. Give one last headline for the top banana. And we did it, gamers! We did it! We saved the world! Yeah! What's that wrestling sound? No! Oh! High roller. Snagglecorn. You got Maya, the curious creature. And we got uh, these two guys as well. And uh, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Yes! And uh, let's go! <laughs> Let's go, let's class! And I also got, just got the high roller outfit on uh, my other tune. So that's very cool. You'll love to see it. Oh man, okay, well, that was insane. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure many people uh, have just had their minds literally blown out of their head, you know? Their, their brains are just all over the floor and it, it's pretty nasty, but you know. I'm sure you all uh, enjoyed that. So, before we end this episode, there's one thing we need to do. Uh, before I recorded this episode, I decided to clear out my map, and now we've been to every location in the game. Um, but every time you go to a new location, uh, you'll get a little bit of XP, and it was just enough to push me um, over the edge to like level 8. So, and I think we just leveled up again from doing that boss. <laughs> Um, but, now, we have another training point, and I'm gonna ask you guys, right, what should we get next? What should we get as our next gag track? Because I'm thinking either throw or drop, maybe. I might do a poll, I might do a poll in like the description or something. I think YouTube used to have polls, but they got rid of them because like nobody was actually using them or something like that. Um, so here, you know, I'll do like a straw poll or something, and you guys can decide, I'll put it in the description, you guys can decide on throw a drop for next episode. And yeah, with all of that said, I will see you all in the next episode. I hope you all had fun. Adios, gamers.